Hi guys, we have seen Olama and its models. There are so many tons and tons of models that you can choose with Olama. For example, if we sort it by the newest, we can see stable LM2, Quen, Tiny Dolphin, stable code, Nos Hormus, Mextrel, Mega Dolphin, and tons and tons of models. Now, up till now, we didn't have any vision models, but that has changed in just a few days ago. Now we have vision models, which are known as LAVA or large language and vision assistant LAV LAVA models. So these models have been updated uh, to version 1.6 and now they allow for higher image resolution, the support up to 4x more pixels allowing the model to grasp more details improved text recognition and reasonable capabilities reasoning capabilities trained on additional document chart and diagram data sets more permissive license distributed via the apache 2.0 license or the llama 2 community license now these models are available in three parameter sizes 7 billion 13 billion and a new 34 billion models now i'm on this low end mac so i have downloaded the 7 billion model which is about a, a 4 gb file and we are going to have a test run on that very soon now in the command line interface we can uh, do it very simply we can just type olama run lava and then we give our prompt here so for example here describe this image and then we're going to put the name of the image for example the image here is art dot jpg so in order to test that i uh, let me go to the visual studio code here and let me select a folder here so after selecting a folder i open up our terminal and i create an environment so i'm going to list all the environments so let's list the environments conda info envs so i have all these environments created now i am on the lava environment here and i'm just going to clear this so how did i do that so it was conda activate uh, lava so that is the name of the environment I'm on the lava environment here and now what I need to do is I can just copy paste the prompt that we have here so it's olama run lava and then the prompt so I'm just gonna paste it here and I'm just gonna open an image for example this image is a bedroom image here so i'm gonna change this to bedroom dot jpg and describe this image so just press enter and this will try to explain the image the bedroom image that we have it here so in order to download this we just need to write olama run lava and this uh, step because if the model is not available here it is going to automatically download the model for use so this is what we get let me zoom this a little bit so this is what we get this image shows a luxurious bedroom interior there's a large bed with a blue great comforter at the center uh, flanked by wooden nightstands with lamp on them the headboard is a bed with a dark wood finish and is adorned with vertical slats in the lighter wood tone above the bed there is a modern wall fixture that appears to be a decorative light fixture or an art installment so as you can see this is pretty good let's look at another image uh, let's uh, understand this and let's try to describe this image so describe this image we just change the name of the image here the name of the image here is cartoon dot jpeg press enter this m image has been added to the 
memory and it is running the Olama run lava. This image shows a piece of artwork that appears to be a cartoon or illustration. It features a large black animal with red teeth resembling the hyena sitting in front of a crown. Very good. Above the animal, there is a text that reads Jean Michael Basquet, and below it, another line of text says Aeon. Okay, there is some problem with identifying the spelling, but you see the performance, it's pretty great. Let's look at another one a cat mouse here. So let's describe this image now. I'll just change the name of the image here. I say cat mouse uh, dot jpg adding the image here. If there is any issue in the spelling uh, of the image then this image will not be added here. Now shows a cat with a front paws on the table and its head tilted to the side looking at the mouse. The cat appears alert and focused on a small animal. In the background there is a door slightly ajar through which you can see what looks like a human figure or an object in motion. Okay. There is also another rodent-like creature in the scene which seems to be unperturbed by the cat's attention. The overall setting suggests a domestic interior environment with a simple and uncluttered background. Pretty good. Now this is what we get in a command line interface. But now in Olama we have uh, support of Python and JavaScript as well. Now we can use this simple code and get it in the Python language for adding in, it into different tools and different projects of your own. So what I did is I uh, just copied this image, uh, copied the code here and created a new main.py file. So we import Olama here, then we start up uh, this instance of olama.chat, uh, model is lava and this is the message, uh, describe the image here and we're going to put the name of the image here. So let's uh, describe this lady.jpg. So I'm just going to change this to lady.jpg and save this and then going to print this res message and content. So here what you can do is first we need to install pip install olama. Once we have this install we can go and say python main.py. So what is it going to do it's it's going to load up this image of this lady.jpg and it's going to explain the image so what we have seen is we want to describe this image but I can as well uh, give a different description what is she holding let's look at if our model will be able to is able to answer this question or not. So the description is pretty good. Uh, let's run this again. Now with the new question of what is she holding? In the image there is a person uh, appears uh, standing on what appears to be a basketball court. They are wearing a white tank top and black shorts. The individual has short hair and is holding a skateboard with their left hand while posing for the photo. Okay, it is confused with the left and right hands but it's able to give a pretty good description of the photo here. So this is how you can use the vision. This is how you can use the Olama vision and it sort of added more capability for the ongoing projects that you have. Now this is one of the first um, open source multimodal models uh, which is available in Olama and this will not be the last of course we have so many new and new models coming up in the next video we're going to see how we can add your own personal model in Olama and use it within Olama we'll also look at how we can change a character of a particular model which is already existing inside of Olama so stay tuned for the next videos. But if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, like the video and please leave a comment on what do you want to see next. 
So having said that, this is your host, Prompt Engineer, signing off for a better tomorrow. Have a nice day.